Rick the Squirrel's King Kong-a-thon. So before the days of Hollywood trying to milk out sequels, the company that produced the King Kong film, RKO, told the director that they could make a King Kong sequel, but it had to be out at the end of 1933, less than a year after King Kong released, along with a smaller budget. That already sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. But one of the producers who worked on it said, If you can't make it grander, make it funnier. And that's certainly what happened here. To be honest, it's not as bad as what people make it out to be. Does it feel underwhelming at the end? Sure, but what they had isn't half bad. Carl Denham is actually a much better character here than he was in the first movie. You get to see some character development with him. I'm the guy that knocked out your pop with a gas bomb and then carried him off to New York in chains. I've been sorry for it ever since. <laughs> Khan's son, Kiko, is also very adorable to watch. He has two fight scenes. And they're not as grand or epic as the original, but stop-motion animator Willis O'Brien did his best here with what he could do. For a movie that's been nearly forgotten about, I think it deserves a little bit more attention than that. Like the original, it ends on a really tragic note with Skull Island disappearing. Kiko sacrifices himself to save Carl, and Carl has enough treasure and gold to last him the rest of his lifetime. There's this other plot about a girl's father being killed and her following him to Skull Island because he doesn't want to get caught by the police. She becomes a love interest of Carl Denham, but it's not really the kind of love interest you would expect. She's not the best actor, but she and Carl end the movie on a nice note. She also happened to be working for the circus in one part of the movie, which has these random dancing monkeys in it. This goes on for like a minute. And keep in mind this movie is under 70 minutes. At one point, the monkeys stop dancing and playing the instruments and start talking to each other. Only to then go back to playing. It's great. If you're a King Kong fan or want to be a completionist, I would still check this one out. It's gotten a bad rap, but I think it's alright.